What up, people? This is Chris Albert here with Getting Me Shredded. I am going to talk to you today about some of my favorite carb sources. Um, these are based off of ease of preparation, cost, um, and usability. Um, there's some controversy out there about whether a carb is a carb or you know um, whether carbs from fructose and glucose are different. I, I'm not going to get into all that. Uh, what I'm going to do is just give you some carbohydrates that I found very useful uh, in building muscle and uh, in replenishing glycogen. And we'll go into any questions you have later when you put them on my comments board. Uh, my number one favorite carb source is uh, quinoa. Quinoa is absolutely awesome because it not only is a great carbohydrate source, it's got all the uh, essential non-essential amino acids making it a complete protein and uh, that means when you eat it with something like meat you're going to help your protein uptake um, it's got about the same uh, macronutrient load as uh, you know some some uh, brown rice carbohydrate wise um, and it's easy to prepare you put it i put mine in a rice maker i put it on the brown rice setting germinates um, gets through that tough outer layer and it's pretty tasty. Two, I like potatoes and sweet potatoes. Potatoes and sweet potatoes don't really differ that much uh, macronutritionally. Uh, what I will say is I don't like yams because they're a little bit stringier on the inside, the orange yams, and that tends to cause some digestive problems on my part that might not for you. But um, uh, if you are gonna buy anything organic, I'd buy potatoes organic. They're not expensive and Basically, a potato, when it's growing, soaks up everything in the ground. So you really want to watch your toxicity levels if you're eating a lot of potatoes or anything like that. And uh, getting organic potatoes ensures that they're not exposed to any harmful chemicals or anything like that. Fucking yo, liver up. Um, three, rice. Brown rice, white rice. I prefer white rice. Um, digests a little bit easier for me, uh, considering that I take all my carbs post-workout, uh, it doesn't really uh, add fat like a lot of people get worried about, you know, oh my God, I'm eating white rice, I'm going to get fat. Now, I mean, if you're insulin sensitive and you're eating white rice, it can actually move into your system quite quickly and get that glycogen replenishment that you're looking for. Um, and I like the taste. Brown rice, on the other hand, it's a lot harder for me to digest. It kind of sits there and... Um, gives me some freaky stuff going on in the toilet, some potty problems. So I don't really like it too much, but you might love it. So if you like it, you like it. Uh, it's also pretty inexpensive. You can get a lot of it for very little cost. Uh, as far as sugary sources of carbohydrates, um, I know a lot of you are probably eating things like Pop-Tarts and, and uh, things like that. Maybe post-workout, try to get an insulin spike or anything like that. What I will say is this. If you are eating something that's very sugary and you are noticing that you are uncontrollably going to the bathroom, like getting a stomach ache, having digestion problems from that, don't ignore that. That is a significant problem. It means there is, it is causing some sort of inflammation in your intestinal tract. Uh, so me personally, I tend to avoid sugar. I tend to avoid any kind of processed carbs. And when I say processed, everything's processed, but things that combine omega-6 oil and uh, sugar particularly I don't like because they tend to cause chronic inflammation in addition to that I tend to stay away from wheat sources I if I'm eating bread I eat rice bread or gluten-free bread rather than Ezekiel bread or sprouted wheat bread or anything like that uh, again because I have issues where I have a sensitivity to those um, uh, to gluten and it causes me to get really sick. I don't have celiac. I have other autoimmune problems. And if you're eating these things and you're digesting them, okay, then absolutely fine. Um, be known that gluten can cause some chronic inflammation and, and could cause some problems for you down the line, but that's up to you. Uh, and if you're getting lean or building muscle on it, that's fine. Excuse me. Um, but I, I tend to avoid gluten or, or any of those kinds of things going on so that's all i got just wanted to give you a quick video on my favorite carbohydrate sources 
somebody said something about my production capacity yesterday. Well, I'm sorry, I can't afford a studio, and at this time, I don't really have room to buy a camera. So, you're going to have to deal with me on this computer. I did get the beats, though, so you can hear me. Um, and I hope that's helping. So, anyways. Um, have a good day. Peace out.